Hey everyone. Um, first of all, welcome to the ANU Humanitarian Innovation Society's uh, Health Innovation Hackathon, uh, Fighting Pandemics, which is co-hosted by the Clemson Global Initiative University and IBM as part of the Call for Code Tech for Good series. Um, my name is Catherine and I'm president of the ANU Humanitarian Innovation Society or otherwise known as ANU HISOC. Yeah, and I'm, I'm Solomon, so I'm the treasurer of the society. We're really excited to have you all on board for this one week hackathon. This weekend will be two days of intensive workshops from some distinguished speakers in academia, nonprofits, government sectors. You'll then have a five day design sprint gap where you'll all be given the freedom to work on your projects as much or as little as you would like before giving the pitch day next Saturday on August 15. Uh, before we begin proceedings, though, we'd like to acknowledge and pay respect to the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, uh, the Ngunnawal people. It is upon their ancestral lands that the Australian National University uh, is built as we share our knowledge, teaching, learning and research practices within this university. May we also pay respect to the knowledge and traditions of the Ngunnawal peoples. Um, our team is incredibly thrilled to launch this hackathon as our society's very first event. Uh, the ANU Humanitarian Innovation Society was founded earlier this year as a commitment to action project uh, in the year-long CGIU 2020 program. Our mission is to harness interdisciplinary collaboration to create innovation projects that seek to address gaps in humanitarian aid. Uh, we aim to use our society as a platform that empowers students to connect with each other and key stakeholders such as nonprofits, government, academia and tech sectors to build teams and pursue social impact projects that tackle issues anywhere from natural disasters and climate change response and to improving access to healthcare and education in emerging nations. We encourage you all to think about how the broader global issue of the pandemic presented by speakers exists in your own communities and create solutions that respond to the needs of your own immediate area. To probe deeply into how the social, political, economic and geographical characteristics of different communities call for unique solutions in the face of a pandemic. The group here today consists of undergraduate and postgraduate students studying an incredibly diverse range of fields from international relations and health policy all the way through to engineering and computer science. We have students shooting in from eight countries in over 10 cities and representing eight different universities. We encourage you to share your experiences and insights of your own communities and respective industries with each other to create solutions that are considerate and tackle the larger issue on multiple layers. And to make that happen, we've passed around a template to each of your teams to summarize your final projects. Uh, we will be posting these on a forum on our website uh, to invite other speakers, uh, participants and the wider community to identify which solutions would work best in their um, in their immediate areas and also industries. Um, on this forum, we encourage you all to share your ideas and direct each other to different resources and networks to help each other further develop your projects beyond this week. This event, the most exciting bit, will have two category prizes, one of which is the best tech integrated solution using IBM products with a grant of US $500 powered by Angel Hacks. The other is awarded the best overall solution which is a grant of Australian $750 made possible by the ANU Science, Learning Communities and the National Science Week. And with that, our very first workshop in design thinking by IBM will begin at 11 a.m. In the meantime, we will continue our light networking session. So please connect with one another. Our team absolutely cannot wait to see all the incredible conversations we'll have this week. So enjoy and let the hacking begin.